or welcome to another Great Cow Basic Training Session. This is uh, part 16 of 21. Um, we'll do more in the future if there's demand. So this time we're going to be using the software to um, read a sensor and send that sensor data to the LCD. Um, I picked a particular sensor and uh, we'll see where we are when we get to the end of this. Okay, so we're going to send temp a temperature sensor to the serial LCD. We attached the serial LCD yesterday, and I think it was, um, let me have a look. We did serial communications at um, session 10. So you need to do session 1, session 10, session 15 and 16 to get to this stage. Okay, so what have I got? I've got a 16F. Um, 18313 connected to a programmer. We'll be covering programmers in another session. What is it? It's a little um, eight-legged chip. It's got um, eight pins on it and it has different capabilities and we are going to be connecting some stuff to um, one of the ports today. We are using this um, PCB that's been put together on a um, solderless board by Chris, by Chris Roper, and we will connect a um, DS18B20 sensor. Oh, I have some here. Okay, let me just get one out. Um, I'll show you I'll show you um, in a moment on the uh, on the display. And um, the um, we, we have many different ways of connecting the LCD, but we did that yesterday. Okay, done. So I'm assuming you've got the LCD connected. And we've actually got the LCD connected to um, this particular port. Let me just show you where. We've actually got it serially connected, one wire coming out of this port here. So we're going to set up the sensor and we're going to send the information to the LCD. So let's have a look at one that's working, okay? So what we've got is the LCD from yesterday. It's cycling through with a hexadecimal number and putting the real temperature on here. Look, look I can hold this uh, little old ad and the temperature rises, okay? Now, this is a sensor like this. It's tiny little ice, uh, integrated circuit. It has got four legs and I have it connected in and I'm going to show you how we do that in a moment. So, um, let's go back to my desktop. This is where we were. So this is the chip I've just shown you, and what we need to do is connect it to our um, breadless little board there. We need to connect a ground, 5 volts, and a resistor, and then we need to connect it to digital port RA4 as the input into the micro into the little into the microcontroller. So how are we going to do that? Well, this is the actual board here. I'm going to take one wire from here, which is the ground, or zero volts. I'm going to take a connection from this row here, which happens to be the 5 volts. And then I'm going to connect it through here to the input on the sensor. And if you just think back to the, the it said you had to put a resistor in. I have a resistor in here connecting these two. And that is 4.7K. Um, 4 so if we go back to um, the previous slide, this is what I have just built, okay? I've just built um, zero is here, five volts is here, and I've just put the connection in. And I've done that on that board, trust me. I've done it, because like, you wouldn't be seeing that, okay, if I didn't. So if I hold it, it the temperature rises. Here's the ground, here's the signal on the orange, and here's the red, and it's on a little board there, look. Another one. Okay, but we are, so we're going to send the data down here, down this wire, into the LCD. How do we go about doing that? Well, I'm using, uh, to be quite frank, I'm using this sensor as just representative of, um, of all the sensors that I could have picked, right? Okay, all right. So let me just um, show you what I, what I mean by that. If I go into the help, if I type in um, libraries, I think we did this before, libraries. If I look down here for libraries overview, I'm, you know, I've picked a sensor here, a DS18B20. I could have picked 
any of the other sensors that are in here. They're all built into the um, system, uh, and there's many, many of them, and, and infrastructure ones as well. So if you wanted to connect a nunchuck, there's one for that, some sort of P, uh, uh, PMW device here. You've got remote controls, set, uh, distance sensors, etc. I am just using the temperature as a representative um, as a representative okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, take the code from session 15 from yesterday and i'm just going to take the top to the top part oh no i'll take it all um and we're just going to edit that in our in our editor so i've just cut and pasted that into the editor i'll zoom in for you and i'm just going to tidy it up i'm just going to delete some stuff just to prove to you that we've got it working okay all right um reading a ds18b20 and all i'm going to do is send that to there just to test that we've actually got connectivity okay so i've taken the code from yesterday uh, which is essentially chip setup um the p the pps for the uh, tr transmit of the serial i've set up the trans uh, the serial line in terms of the baud rate and then i told it i'm connected to a k107 and I'm going to print some text out. Let me save that. I'll just give it a random name. And I'm going to send that to the, um, to the, uh, there we go. Great, it sent something. And if I'm correct, we look at the lab. We've got some text on the lab. And now I do hate it when it does that. The lab camera has packed up on me. There we go, it's come back. So we've now got it. Um, it says exactly what my source code says. So if we go back to my source code, you can see that we've actually got this piece here. So how do I, you know, this piece of code that's here is now on that LCD. So how are we going to do this? I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go into the help again. And I'm going to uh, search for the DS18B20 code. Look at the help. Uh, and there it is. And inside of here it tells me that I need to have an include statement and then I've got some commands okay and these commands are re-digital temp um, if I zoom, can I zoom in for you no I don't think I can um, I'm just going to take re-digital temp and put that code in so we need an include statement well let's just take here we'll take the include statement which is um, here, it's got some stars around it, not quite sure why. And I'm just going to include that at the top of my source program. That's a good place to put them. I like putting them at the top, personally. You can put them wherever you like. Now, that means that I'm going to include a library for this particular device. And we'll, we'll zoom in on this in a moment. And then I'm just going to take this code here below the LCD driver, okay? And I'm just going to paste that in below my program. Let me zoom in for you. So what have I done? I've added in the include statement to include a library. And for all the libraries, you will have to put the include statement. Now, this, I put the, uh, the do forever loop, so it will do it forever. And what have I said in here? Clear the screen, print a string. We covered that yesterday, locate it. And if I call this function called digital, read digital temp, if I press F1 for us, we'll see the help. And the help is quite explicit. It says read digital temp. It returns two values. One's called dsint, and the other one is dsdec. And that means the um, the the device temperature in integer, and then a decimal value. Now this isn't rocket science by any chance. This just returns two values. If I call that, it just sets two globals called dsint and dsdec for decimal value. Let me zoom in on the code. I've lost the zoom here. Here we go. And that's what it's doing here. I'm calling digital um, temperature here, and then dsint and dsdec. And that's it. I'm just going to compile that up. I'm going to. Oh, it tells me that there's a. Um, a port that's not correct and that's quite okay so i'm going to show you that um 
I'm going to show you that error out. That's, that's fantastic. Because that's a really good example of an error. It says error port 3, port C.3 has not been defined. That's because I haven't changed this setting here. Look, I need to set up a, a constant called DQ. And that's on RA4. I did say that earlier on. Compile that up. And down here on the left, you can now see it says temp, and it's got 23.25. Let's zoom in on the lab, make sure that camera works for you. Now, if I hold the sensor, 23.3, 26. You'd have to tidy this layout. I did this last night very quickly. There, 27. I'm a hot little body, yeah, and I haven't got coronavirus. And back, it will come down. The temperature will now reduce. So what we've seen today is how to connect a um, how to connect a um, sensor to our chip and read that using Great Car Basics uh, libraries. And we've got lots of libraries like that. You can do it for many different things. So in recap, what you have to do is include a library. That's the include statement. We covered that before, and then look at what the um, capabilities of that are. And that's read digital temp, and it returns two global values, DSN and DS temp, and put them on the LCD. That is as simple as that. Um, so our goal today was to um, was to show you how to read the sensor, how to read the sensor, and send that data to the LCD. And I think we'll call that a wrap.